we're going to role play, and then I, what, what we want you to do is in that bottom piece is kind of put those stories together. Um, so. And I, I just want to preface this with, um, in any social situation, your goal is not to get a client. And if you, if that is your goal, they will sense it. Yeah. They'll smell it on you. Mm -hmm. That you're trying to make a sale. It's not attractive. Your goal is to, to be authentically interested in them, and to, perhaps start a relationship with this person, and then, see what develops. Um, so, when I'm in a social situation, I'm not like waiting to be able to jump in and tell somebody that I'm a health coach, I start by saying, what do you do? And listen, I'm not like waiting for them to take a breath so I can interrupt them. I'm really authentically interested in what they do, their life, etc. If this person has a pulse and is anyone you would ever want to work with, they will in turn say, what do you do? I mean, if they have any social awareness, they won't just talk and talk and talk and talk and then walk off. And if they do, you probably don't want to work with them. <laughs> so then they're going to say, well, what do you do? And that's the part where I find a lot of my health coaches get stuck. They're like, blah, blah, blah. They know how to tell about their weight loss story, but they don't know how to say what they do. So. So we were in a social situation. And when you're in a social situation, if you stand in the corner, you're not going to meet anybody. So again, if you ask people questions, um, you're going to get them to open up. So we've met in a, in a social situation, and um, you know we're having a drink together at, at the bar, whatever. Okay. Um, Carol, what do you do? Well, I love what I do, Luna, but um, you know how sometimes people are great dieters and they can lose weight, but they can never keep it off, and they know you diet for mm -hmm. so long. Well, that was me. And um, you know, I found a program that helped me really create health in my life. And I'm so excited about my journey that that's what I do. I help other people who want to get healthy. Oh, that's great. So, so that's, that's how it. simple it is. Um, you don't have to, again, go on the life-a-thon. You know, and we are excited about this program. A lot of us kind of got, and I did it in the beginning. I was like, we calls it the fire, fire hose. Blah, 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 blah. And takes your blood, blah, 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 and, and you, by the end of you've told them all about the program, and that's what we're doing here: is make the connection. Because if it's somebody that you really like, or you know, that you can help each other, especially, and we'll talk about networking just now, you really want to get their contact information because you want to build a relationship. You don't want to. You're never going to sell them that first evening that you meet them if they don't no. know you, and, and you don't even want to be thinking about it. So that simple little thing that I did was authentic for me because my struggle was yo-yo dieting. And I can say that. You're not going to say that you struggle with yo-yo dieting. I mean, we're not telling you what to say. That's why whatever you put down as your struggle is what you're going to want to include in this. And trust me, there are a million ways to do this. We're showing you one way that has worked for a lot of people, and actually we've received training on this at a lot of um, Take Shape for Life events. But you're saying just briefly, and then you pause. If they say, oh, that's interesting, do you have children? They're not really interested in hearing <laughs> about what you do, and that's okay. What are you doing? You're looking for people that are interested. If they go, wow, that is really cool. You know, I've been really struggling with getting off my diabetic medication, and I, I didn't know there were people around like health coach. You'll, you'll get all kinds of feedback. That's when you want to follow up. Well, I would, I would love to talk to you further about it. If you're at a cocktail party and you actually have time, you can go into a little bit more information then. But in most situations, your goal, remember, is to get their contact. I would love to follow up with you, and you know I have a healthy habit newsletter. I could put you on that and send you some tips. I, a way that I often get information is saying, do you have a card? We could just exchange cards. Um, that's a little less um, than would you write down your name and phone number. People are often willing, especially in a networking group, if you exchange cards. And, um, at a um, 
cocktail party, I would might give them their card and say, you know what, if you'll just jot down your phone number, I'd love to send you a link to my website. I could tell you a little bit more and then I'll call you about it. So remember, your goal is not to get a client. Your goal is to see if there's any interest. Kim Fisk talks about being on the beach, you're just looking, you're just turning over the stones and seeing who's interested, you know? And if you can develop that mindset instead of, oh, I'm gonna go to this networking group and maybe I'm gonna get a client. Even that, even that language, get a client, is, it's subconsciously not where you wanna be going. So, um, take a minute and now write down what you might say. Well, you know, I mean, I love starting out with, but this is me. I love what I do, you know, I just like that heart place because it's true. Um, don't say that if you don't feel comfortable saying that. But I like the idea of saying, do you know how? Kevin McCarthy talks about that a lot. Just asking a question, they're gonna identify with it. Now, if I'm at a group for young moms that are breastfeeding, I'm not going to necessarily, I would then use my daughter-in-law story. You know, my daughter-in-law really struggled with getting weight off after she had her baby and she lost 15 pounds right away, you know. You modify your story according to where you are. But, so take just a minute and write that down. 